Good evening, I'm Brian Wilk. Sean Lafferty is off tonight. In 2020, many local organizations found new ways to make up money lost because of the pandemic. One popular way was drive through fundraisers. It's new at 10 o'clock. Chelsea Swift joins us in the control room after speaking to organizers of these fundraisers about what it was like to keep up with the keep to keep the community involved in 2020. Chelsea. Hi, Brian. Several organizers say despite this being a difficult year, they found new ways to make money. Some say the strength of the Erie community was evident this year. In 2020, many local annual festivals and fundraisers became drive through or virtual events, and some new fundraisers were created. One fair food festival this summer raised over $10,000 for the Anna Shelter. The first day we did over 500 cars, which to me is just such a huge testament to how our community supports the shelter. It was a good boost, too, to see that many people, people driving through with their dogs that they adopted. Many other local festivals, including the Italian and Greek festivals, raised money for local churches with drive through events. Some organizers say they were resilient in 2020 and the community continued to show their support. That's what's nice about Erie. You know, we've done this, this is 32 years. Uh, we, you know, no matter what, people do show up. We didn't quit and we stayed intact and we'll prepare for next year. The Erie Community Foundation's Erie Gives Day raised more money than ever this year for local nonprofits. We were stunned. Uh, by the results. Um, it's, you know, increased every year, but the increase this year was very dramatic. Well over a million extra dollars raised. Bachelor says the final total was actually six million dollars. He says many people in the community have different perspectives after surviving 2020. Well, you can look at it both ways. This has been a, a horrible year, but there's so many bright spots that that's what we like to emphasize. Some organizers say they hope to return to fundraisers as they have been in the past. And how, however, they say this year has shown them alternative ways to raise money and engage the community. Brian. Chelsea, thank you very much.